In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the radius given the arc length and the central angle. So the radius would be here. So the key is, I'm going to give you the formula for arc length, and it works like this. Arc length is some fraction of the circumference. So that's just common sense right there. The arc length is a portion of the circumference of the, sort, of the circle, some fraction of the circumference. So I'm just going to take these words and turn it into an equation. Um, I'm going to use the letter L to represent arc length. So the arc length is, all right, equals some fraction. Um, well, where is this fraction going to come from? This is where the central angle comes in. We know that the total number of degrees in the entire circle is 360. So the fraction is what fraction of the circle is represented by 150 degrees. In other words, 150 degrees out of a total of 360. That's the fraction that we are referring to when we say some fraction. All right, some fraction of the circumference. Well, what is the formula for the circumference of a circle? That is 2 pi r. So this is the formula for the arc length on a circle. The arc length is some fraction of the whole circumference. So sometimes they give us the radius, and we just plug it in over here, and we use that to get the arc length. But sometimes they give us the arc length, and we put it in over here on the left, and we will use that to find the radius. And that's what's happening right now. So uh, the arc length is 220 centimeters. So this will become 220 is equal to, uh, we might as well reduce this. The zeros cancel each other out, you know, or you could think of it as dividing by 10. And then we have 15 over 36. Both of these are divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 36 divided by 3 is 12. So I just like smaller numbers. And then we have uh, the 2 pi r. I can further simplify this because the 2 and the 12, uh, you can cancel these out. 2 goes into 12 six times. So that's going to give us 220 is equal to 5 over 6. All right, that's not my best 5 ever, but 5 over 6. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put pi r right now. So I just need to get r by itself. So one easy way to do that will be to, uh, let's see, I need some more colors in here. Uh, if I multiply by the denominator to get rid of the 6, so imagine that I multiply by 6 right here, and I will multiply by 6 over here. So that way, these 6s cancel each other out. Okay, what is 6 times 220? If I get this calculator to move over, maybe I'll stick it over here for a second. All right, let's go ahead and do 6 times 220. So that's 1,320. So I have 1,320, and that is going to equal 5 pi r. So now if I want to get r by itself, I simply must divide both sides by 5 pi. So I will divide by 5 pi on the right, and I will divide by 5 pi on the left. So this will all cancel out. And that's going to leave r by itself. 
So uh, this is going to be the final answer. All right, so I'm just going to put this entire thing into the calculator. Let's put it in, in fraction mode. So we will have 1,320 divided by 5 pi. All right, so that's 84.03. And that's it. This would be the radius rounded to the nearest hundredth. Um, if you wanted an exact answer, instead of rounding to a decimal, uh, the only thing we could do is we can go ahead and divide 1,320 by 5. And that's 264. So if I wanted an exact answer, it would be 264 over pi. So this is an exact expression for the radius. All right, you know what? I would probably lose a small amount of points because I didn't mention the units. Okay, the uh, arc length was in centimeters, so it's important that we squeeze that in. So this is centimeters. All right, this was a request off of the comments on YouTube.